Play by Schofield. Big hit by Cameron on Meade along the boards. Here comes Schofield. His shot right into the chest of Susie, and no rebound that time. All the way out, held in by O'Sullivan. Blast from Grade. Glove save Palmer, and no rebound. Nice feed back between the legs. Folger wrap around back in a shot. Palmer, the reactionary wow. save. Seabold with it. Hawks trying to get a fresh forward line out there. Seabold the drop pass. Here's Page with a score. Picking the top corner over Susie's left shoulder. A seeing eye shot for Christopher Page. And it's a 1 0 Stonehill lead. Ferraro all the way across. Ayakulo gathers it up. Back over to Ferraro. Walking in. Winds up the drive. He scores! Mike Ferraro tickles the twine. A power play goal, and we're tied at one. Curly out after the rebound, holds it in. Hammersmith, high slot, walking all the way around. Here's the shot, Ayakulo, the save. Rebound in the crease, and it's put off the bar. Oh, it was Ferraro again with a golden chance. Good, was waiting for somebody to come up the gut. Nush could never get it to him. Huge hit, laid by O'Sullivan on Meade. Well, he had him lined up for a good 20 feet. <laughs> he did. Here's Femi of the drive, backhand pass. Ayello scores! Oh, a nifty little backhand saucer from John Femia. And Trey Aiello makes it 2-1, St. A's. The big hit at center ice leads to an attack in the offensive zone by the Hawks. Palmer steams it up ahead as the Hawks were trying to change out. Almeida the only one unable to get off the ice. And Susie has to make a quick save on Murray. Keep control of that puck right through center. Got it ahead. Maloney, the nifty drag, the shot. Susie got just enough of it. O'Sullivan over to Foja. Winds up a drive. Palmer able to take this one in the chest. What a game this guy's having, huh? Quick break out the other way. Here's Godin. Potential two on one for Stonehill. Godin across the shot. Wide. Verrier on late legs. Couldn't get it away. Here's a shot. Trickles through Susie, but then wide. Back out. They rotate it again. Almeida, another wrister blocked. Foja, another shot. Palmer the save again. And Foja is just shaking his head, saying, I'm going to get one of these one day. Yeah. And he did a good job at that, getting the shot on goal. Harrington trying to lead a three on two the other way. Fed across. Cameron shot. Save. Rebound. Backhanded high by Hammersmith. Hammersmith with a golden opportunity. Ferraro holds back in his own end. Gives it away. Joe with the shot. And Susie the save. Aiello carries in, into the middle, out of the reach of Simarusti. He tries the tip from Femia, but a great save by Palmer. Simarusti, the steal, fires off a Stonehill body just wide. Femia delays. Simarusti again, double deflection. Aiello backhand try denied. Still loose. Simarusti digging, can't find it. Sullivan turns it out wide, off the boards. Page kicks it down, fed into the middle. Here's Hall with a shot, and Susie holds on. Kicked along. Kerrigan for the open net, missed it wide. Ten seconds left. Hit one of the linesmen at center. Back into the St. Ansem end. Curly bounces it. And that will do it. So the Hawks pick up two points. They hold on for the 2-1 to one win. And it is now four in a row going back to last season over Stonehill. The Skyhawks... Fall to one and five in Northeast 10 place. St. Anselm goes to four and one. And at least for the moment, they leapfrog into first place in the Northeast 10. Well, we, we were up at Plattsburgh over the past weekend. And I thought we played really well there. We beat Manhattanville and we tied Plattsburgh. We ended up losing the shootout, but it still counts as a tie. So uh, coming into this game, I was saying, you know, let's get on a roll. Let's, let's take this win. Obviously, any 10 games are big for us. Uh, I thought it was a hard-fought battle. I thought the first period, you know, we were a little slow, but I thought in the second period and the third period we picked it up and had some good opportunities. First goal, we, we've been working the power play quite a bit and, uh, you know, trying to get guys to move the puck a little quicker. We knew that Stonehill comes hard on the, on the penalty kill. So we want, in, in practice, we're working on moving the puck quick, looking for those gaps to take shots. Uh, and it was a perfect play from low to, to 25 and then shifted over to 11. Uh, Mike Ferraro, and he just like ripped it, and we needed that. That that got us going. Yeah, we we've lost you know quite a few like tough one goal games. Uh, you know he he's bared the brunt of those I think, 
Uh, and then part of it is too is we got to put the puck in the net when we have an opportunity. Uh, I think the last three games he's played very well and he's on a little bit of a roll. So we're gonna we're gonna ride him and then see how things go. So he'll be in net again tomorrow and hopefully we make it a little bit easier for him by scoring a few more goals.